Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Um, today I wanted to do a summer favorites video since it's like the middle of the summer now. Um, and I have a lot of favorite things for the summer. Um, I hope that there's not too loud of background noise because I am filming this out front and the air conditioner is going back right there. So sorry if there's a lot of noise. Um, to start off with, I will share some of my favorite summer foods. Um, Emily makes these cherry blondies that are really good. They're cherry chocolate blondies and they're absolutely delicious. And they're one of my favorite treats to have during the summer. Um, I also really like to buy a big watermelon and then I eat as much as I want. And with whatever watermelon I have left over, I cut it up into little cubes and freeze them in plastic bags and then I blend them up and just make watermelon slushes. I like to add like juices to it like limeade or just like flavored water or something. Um, I feel like that adds a little bit more flavor to them and they're really refreshing and delicious. Um, so I recommend trying it if you want because they are good. Um, I think that's all of my favorite foods. Um, but I'll start with books for summer after that. Um, this summer I have well, I read all of the Harry Potter books, and so they're some of my favorites. This is the Philosopher's Stone. This is the 20 year edition, and I received this from Emily on my birthday, which I love. Um, so I really enjoy reading Harry Potter anytime, but this summer I really liked it. Um, another thing is one of my favorite movies is Me Before You, and I came across it last year, I think in May or June. So it's a summer favorite, um, also with the book, and the book After You as well. I really like both of them, but Me Before You is definitely my favorite out of the two. Um, I also this summer have purchased some new iPhone chargers, and this kind came in a pack of three. Um, they're like rose gold colored, so they're pretty. And they're really nice and sturdy, and they're six feet long, which is awesome, so they can reach further than like the little link of the charges that you get when you buy a phone. So I really like these. Um, they're only like twelve dollars for a pack of three, or eleven, or something like that. So a really good deal. Um, face products. I've been trying out a bunch of new face products. I really like to try like face masks, and so I tried this. Um, Aussie Berry Revitalizing Sleeping Mask. Um, I've already used it once. I think I still have another use out of it. But it's supposed to brighten and renew your face. I don't really know if it did too much of that when I used it. But it was really cool. I've always been curious as to how it works. But it's kind of like a clear color. And you just rub it in and then it dries on your face. So it doesn't get all over your pillow, which I was afraid would happen. Um, so that was really cool to use. And another one which was really fun was this charcoal clay bubble mask. Um, I tried this last night and my face, whole face like got huge and bubbly. And so it was a, definitely a fun mask. I, I think I tried to save a little bit more so I can try it again. But those three masks are both really fun and they were really nice. Um, I also have tried this BB cream tinted moisturizer and sunscreen and so far it's worked really well. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, it's been nice lightweight makeup to just put on in the morning with my mascara and a little bit of cover up if needed and yeah, it's been really nice. Um, to go along with that, probably back in like February or something, um, at work I got this say yes to tomatoes daily moisturizer and I was a little nervous about using this because I've used the say yes to tomatoes um face wipe makeup removing wipes and they like burned my eyes but this daily moisturizer I really liked normally when I put like lotion on my face it even face other face lotions it like burns my skin a little bit and stings but that stuff did not sting it at all it didn't bother me um, yeah, it was really nice to use. Um, another thing that I really like in the summer is comfy, cute clothes. So, I got this dress for myself, you can't really see it. 
but it's just like long and it has blue and white stripes which are probably my absolute favorite um but it has pockets so i can wear it to work which is awesome and yeah it's really super cute and comfy um i also have one of my favorites for the summer is this navy blue skirt um it's really cute it's comfortable I don't know, it's nice to wear skirts and dresses in the summer because then you get like breezes on your legs and you don't feel quite so hot and confined. Um, I recently got this shirt and it's become one of my favorites because it's super cute. So it's nice and it's lightweight and I really like it. Um, I think that I want to wear this shirt when I go to Paris. Amber gave me a pair of black leggings that I want to wear with it so I think that would be a cute outfit to wear when I go to Paris in August, the end of August. Um, my last item of clothing to show is this jumpsuit. I purchased this jumpsuit I think like two years ago and every summer it's one of my favorite things to wear because it's just like cute, it's lightweight, um, which is comfortable, which is always a plus in the summer when you're out in the heat. Um, the last thing, I guess the last thing clothing wise, would be my salt water sandals that I bought for myself. I wear them right now. But they are so cute and they're comfortable. And yeah, I just really like them a lot. A couple years ago I had a pair of yellow ones and they broke at the end of last summer. So I thought that I would maybe get away with trying a different pair of sandals. But the saltwater sandals are definitely my favorite. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to share that's a favorite. But I think I've covered it all. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!